David Stuart MacGregor, born in Edinburgh on the 16th of October 1895, worked as an apprentice for the Northbridge branch of the Commercial Bank of Scotland pre-war. In 1914, he, like many young men his own age, joined up. Initially, MacGregor enlisted into the Royal Artillery as a gunner, but in 1915, he was commissioned into the Royal Scots Lothian Regiment as a lieutenant. He was sent to Egypt in 1916 and later served on the Western Front, where, at the time of his VC winning exploits, he was attached to the 29th Battalion MGC, serving in B Company, attached to the 1st Border Regiment in Belgium in October of 1918. By that time, the Allied forces were deep into a series of major offensives that would collectively be known as the Hundred Days Offensive. During this period, the German forces and their Austria-Hungarian allies were beaten back towards their own borders, as the Allied nations racked up victory after victory. But before the final act of the Great War was to be written in November, there was still much bloody and bitter fighting to be undertaken by both sides. MacGregor was serving on the front line near the Belgian town of Hoogmollen, situated close to the French border. It was to be the location where the last Machine Gun Corps Victoria Cross of the Great War would be earned. On the 22nd of October, the battalion were attacking German lines supporting the 86th Brigade and had faced what the war diary called very strong resistance. The entry directly after this starts to describe MacGregor's actions during the subsequent advance. Lieutenant MacGregor performed a very gallant action, which unfortunately lost him his life. The advance was held up and this officer, ordering his men to cross a piece of open ground by any cover they could find, got his guns with a limber and lifting it into the limber himself, ordered the driver to drive the guns across lots of open ground to a sunken road. This worked, although the horses were both lost. The guns were put into action. The official medal citation from the 13th of December 1918 goes on to depict the 23-year-old officer's final moments. The driver, horses and limber were all hit, but Lieutenant McGregor succeeded in getting the guns into action, effectively engaging the enemy and enabling the advance to be resumed. With the utmost gallantry, he continued to expose himself in order to direct and control the fire of his guns, until about an hour later, he was killed. His great gallantry and supreme devotion to duty were the admiration of all ranks. On the 15th of February 1919, King George V presented the VC to David's parents at Buckingham Palace. He is buried at the Stasigam Communal Cemetery in Flanders, Belgium, and there was a memorial stone unveiled at MacGregor's former school, George Heriot School, in Edinburgh. His Victoria Cross, along with other service medals, are now on display at the Royal Scots Museum at Edinburgh Castle. Throughout this series, the things that I was constantly reminded of when reading war diaries and medal citations is not only the dedication to the men around them in the carnage and confusion that battle can cause, but also the care of which these men put into the machine guns they maintained in support of their comrades, something which I think is unique to the men who served in the machine gun corps during the Great War. They also share a theme that is common among almost all Victoria Cross winners, it's the courage and selflessness shown by all recipients of a medal that seems to transcend its own history and has now become a byword for heroism under fire. Thanks for watching. Many of these men did not consider themselves heroes, but these stories give us an insight into the actions that more soldiers would have experienced, possibly carrying out similar but without the subsequent recognition. These videos form a part of a year of events to remember the Corps and its disbandment in 1922. For more on the Machine Gun Corps and the Vickers Gun, make sure to follow the Vickers MG Collection and Research Association on social media and stay tuned for more.